May God bless you abundantly. This is Edward Sentongo. Uh, God bless you. Urabashanda rababashi kataramandere boshikaya. Urabashanda rababashi kataramandere boshikaya. Yes, God bless you abundantly. Whoever's joining in on Zoom, on Facebook, God bless you abundantly. And whoever's here, may God bless you abundantly. In the name of Jesus, as we gather, uh, please be seated. Uh, this is the Labok House of Peace. Yes, the Labok House of Peace uh, under King Jesus Dallas. And uh, we want to, first of all, honor God, glorify God, who has connected us to the great men and women of God uh, at King Jesus Dallas, and King Jesus Miami, Apostle Guillermo Maldonado, King Jesus Miami, who is a spiritual father, also um, an extension uh, of King Jesus Miami, King Jesus Dallas, under which this Lubbock House of Peace serves. God bless you, and you're welcome online. Our pastors, Pastor Daniel and Carolina Sandoval, we want to take time to honor and respect them, who have nurtured us in the spirit and have entrusted us with the uh, 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 the uh, delegated authority to preach the gospel here in Lubbock, praise God, to do an impartation, minister, uh, bring revival in this city of Lubbock, but also online, for there is no distance in the spirit. Uh, we have so many people from many nations that are connected. May God bless you abundantly wherever you are. Uh, God bless you abundantly in the name of Jesus. Yes, today, we have a very important topic. The topic is with God, all things are possible. My favorite topic, praise the Son of the living God. How many of you know that with God, all things are possible? Praise God. In the name of Jesus Christ. That means miracles, signs and wonders, creative miracles, name it. Healing, deliverance, for deliverance to children's bread. That means everything, provision. Anything that you can ever imagine for. We serve a mighty God who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above and beyond all that we never expect or imagine according to the power yes right there the power that works in us what power is that the power of the holy spirit and if you're not yet a, a, a believer a born again uh, a christian i pray that after this message you have accepted christ as your personal lord and savior in your heart and will lead you into uh, uh this uh, uh salvation prayer praise god will lead you um in the salvation prayer so that you can uh, uh, receive Christ, praise God, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that you may enjoy miracles, signs, and wonders from the God of the impossible. With God, all things are possible. With man, things are impossible. With God, all things are possible. So a word today, praise God, as we get ready, we're going to worship, praise God. We're going to minister, we're going to share the word of God. We're going to have an impartation, praise God. But we're going to start with worshiping God. In Matthew 19, 26, if you have your Bible, the Bible declares here that but Jesus looked at them and said to them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Hallelujah, somebody. Praise God. Wow. This was talking about the rich man who was not ready to part with their money. Hallelujah. How many of you know that, uh, even as Christ said, that uh, um, it would be so tough for the rich man to get into heaven, just like a camel going through a needle's eye. Because a lot of people are attached to property, to things. They are attached to their riches. They don't want to share. And the context of this is that, as Christ said it, but Jesus say, looked at them and said to them, with men, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. And the disciples were exclaiming, oh, who is going to make it to heaven? Because this rich man was not ready to part with his riches, and Christ told him, if you want to make it to heaven, you've done all what it, the, that you need to do. Get your riches, share with those who are poor. Oh, that was so tough for him. That was so tough. So that's the context of this, praise God. But the, uh, uh, the statement itself, with men this is impossible, and with God all things are possible, just speaks of not only salvation, that only God can change someone's heart. Praise God, even a man who is so rich and is hardened in their heart cannot get, uh, 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 share what they have. Praise God. 
But so are uh, miracles, even miracles. Praise God. A lot of people think, oh, it is not possible. How am I going to get healed? How am I going to uh, 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 provide for myself? How am I going to, uh, uh, to, 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 uh, uh, to pay my bills? How am I going to do this? With God, all things are possible. We're going to get deep into the word and uh, the meaning of a miracle and uh, all the good, good, good things that we have for you today. Praise the Son of living God, somebody. Key truths about miracles, praise God. And I'm believing that you're going to be blessed mightily as I have been blessed Praise the Son of the Living God. Rooted in the Word, we're going to share with you the Word of God that speaks to uh, 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 throughout the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation. Really, the God that we serve is a God of miracles. Praise God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Son of the Living God. Most people of dif uh, different religions, Hinduism, there's many religions out there, Buddhism, Judaism, even Christian denominations that are based on religion, ha having a form of godliness but denying the power of God. Many of them don't have an expectation. They don't believe in miracles. They gather without any expectations of seeing a miracle or anything supernatural. They don't believe in the supernatural. They don't believe in healing and miracles and signs of wonders anymore these days in many of these seeker-friendly churches. However, a true born-again believer who understands that we serve a mighty God, we serve Christ who is risen. Praise the Son of the living God, somebody. We know that God, even today, continues to do miracles, healing, deliverance, because we serve a mighty God who is alive. Christ said, I am he who lives, once dead, and now lives forevermore. Amen. And I hold the keys of death and Hades. So if Christ lives, therefore, let us expect that miracles are still a thing of today. Praise God. Healing, deliverance, provision, protection, any kind of miracle, anything that you can imagine. Because with God, all things are possible. Praise God. And, of course, the greatest miracle is the salvation of our souls. Praise the Son of living God, somebody. So let us stand up. I'm going to ask you to stand up. Praise God. As we worship Jesus. Yes, Christ died on the cross. On the cross over 2,000 years ago. The word of God that was there in the beginning was with God, was God. And came down from heaven, became flesh, was crucified on the cross, raised from the dead. That is who we worship. Hallelujah, somebody. Lord, I give you thanks and praise. There is no distance in the spirit. If you're on Zoom, on Facebook, here, let us just worship. Lord, I give you thanks and praise. To see you face to face, completely in my heart. To see you face to face, completely. Just worship right there where you are. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The mystery to see you face to face. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Just worship right there where you were. Feel free to raise up your hands, prostrate, whatever it is. Just glorify God.
worship right there where you were. Rabbi Sana, leave everything that you're doing to concentrate on Jesus. Concentrate on Jesus. Rabbi Sana, concentrate on Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for your loving kindness. Your kingdom come, Jesus. How about let your kingdom come? Let your will be done here on earth, even as it is in heaven. Let it be. Let it be here on earth, even as it is in heaven. Lord my God. Let it all be like Let your kingdom come. Let it be here. Let it be. Let it be. Let it Your kingdom come. Your will be done. Here on earth, even as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. Continue to worship right there where you were. There is no distance in the spirit. We worship in spirit and truth. Lord, I give you thanks and praise. Abba, have your way. Abba, have your way. Yes, have your way in the name of Jesus. Spirit of the living God, have your way. Lord, I thank you. Just as in heaven, hallelujah. Just as in heaven, let your will be done, Abba. Hear or not, even as it is in heaven. Let your kingdom come. Just as in heaven, Rabba Sanama Sikayam, Rabba Sanama Sikayam. Riba Baba Sana Masika, Rama Mama Masanda Rara Masika. Lord, I give you things and praise. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. He's giving things and praise. Worship it right there where you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the King of Glory. Hallelujah to the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah to the Alpha and Omega. Hallelujah to the beginning and the end. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God that was slain for the forgiveness of our sins. You receive the whole heavenly glory. Yes, Lamb of God. Receive. Receive our Shana Masika. The honor and the glory. We honor and glorify you, my Lord. Have your way, my Lord. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of Glory. Oh, be like this in heaven. When we look upon your face forever, may it all be like this in heaven. Your way be done, Abba. Yes, Lord. Remove every veil, every veil of darkness, every veil of religion. Let it be removed, Lord. Purify our hearts, King of Bloom. Baptize us with your Holy Spirit and fire. Sanctify us by the watering of your word. Purify our soul. You're the shepherd and overseer of my soul. You're the shepherd and just tell him somebody. You're the shepherd and overseer of my soul. Lord, I give you thanks and praise. Have your way, Lord Jesus. Have your way. Lord, I give you thanks and praise. 
You are above all principalities and powers. You are above all creation. You are the firstborn of all creation. Lord, I thank you. The Lion of the tribe of Judah. My Lord, I give you thanks and praise. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Have your way in our souls. Have your way in our innermost being. And out of our innermost being flow rivers of living water. Jesus, have your way. Yes, I take the word of life freely. I give you thanks and praise. Let us worship one more song. Uh, let us worship God with one more song. Right there, there is no distance in the spirit. The worship songs are there to, to help us, but it is our relationship with God directly. So right there where you are, there is no distance in the spirit. Let's worship in spirit and truth. We worship the Father. With one voice. With one voice, yes, heaven and earth joins that with one voice we worship God. Thank you, Jesus. And the Lord has made your enemies your foot too. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I give you things and praise. I think we all are singing. And we the angels are singing. And we want voice, the earth is singing. And we want voice, we all are singing. Hallelujah. Yes, heaven is singing and earth is singing with one voice. We all are singing with one voice. Hallelujah, amen, Abba. Hallelujah, amen, Jesus. Is join in the worship, join in the worship. Lord, I thank you. Right there where you are. Lord, I thank Hallelujah. 
heaven is in me, everyone goes. The earth is in me, everyone goes. We all are singing, Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the King of Glory. Hallelujah to you, Lord Jesus. We all are singing, Hallelujah. Rabba Bashana Masikaya. Lord, I thank you. Oh Lord, I give you thanks and praise. Rabba Bashana Masika Taraman Dede Bosika. Rabba Bashana Rabba Bashikaya. Hallelujah to the King of Lord. Right there where you were, just talk to God, worship in your spirit, in your heart. Hallelujah to the King of Glory. Hallelujah to the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah to the King of Glory. Do you know that when we come to worship, we come to Mount Zion, we come to the city of the living God, we come to the heavenly Jerusalem, to the innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and the church of the firstborn of those registered in heaven. Heaven and earth joining together in worship, to worship God Almighty, the King of Glory, God the Judge of all. To the spirits of just men made perfect we come because it is Christ who makes us perfect. The just shall live our faith. He is the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, the author and the finisher of our faith. We come to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, whose blood of sprinkling speaks better things than that of ever. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord and God saying, uh, Christ that where two or three are gathered in my name, there I will be in your midst. And I believe that the Holy Spirit is here to speak to us, praise God, about miracles, praise God. Today we learn that with, all thing, um, with God, all things are what? Are possible. With God, all things are possible. All things are possible with God. What is a miracle? If you're writing down, I'm going to try and be very fast because I want to minister, praise God, as well. Uh, what is a miracle? If you're writing down, a miracle is the supernatural intervention of God in the impossible circumstances of man. Now, what do you consider impossible in your life? God considers it, considers it possible because with God, all things are possible. Praise God. Many people long for a miracle to recover um, in their physical, emotional, mental health, in their marriages, finances. Name it. There's so many things out there that seem impossibilities in our lives. Uh, and then God sees them as possible because he is God. Praise God. Hallelujah, somebody. He's the creator of the heaven and earth, the possessor of the heaven and earth, the earth, and everything in it belongs to God and all of us that dwell therein. Praise the Son of the living God, somebody. Amen. So what are the, some of the key truths? Praise God. The key truths about miracles. If you're writing down, from Genesis Revelation, you will find that God is a God of miracles. Praise God. When we read the scriptures, we see a God of miracles from Jesus' birth, praise God, from a virgin woman to his death and resurrection, all those are miracles, praise God, praise the Son of the living God. We can't talk about God without talking about the God of miracles, praise God, because he is a God of miracles. Dealing with the children of Israel, we saw spectacular miracles that even today speak. The parting of the Red Sea. Uh, the, the, the stopping of the moon, many miracles, mighty miracles, that God used men like you and I, but it was God working in and through those men. Praise God. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. In other words, the glory always has to go back to Christ, to God Almighty. Praise the Son of living God. Key truths about miracles, Christianity without miracles is just another religion. There are many denominations out there, seeker-friendly uh, churches that do not believe in miracles anymore. And that is so absurd. When Christianity is practiced without miracles, it becomes another dead religion. It's gotten one of the churches in the book of Revelation, Christ talked about one of the dead churches. They did not have the Spirit of God. Anytime you take the Spirit of God out of the church, and that becomes a dead religion. Praise God. That's why even the born again experience is not about uh, oh, your knowledge of Christ. Praise God. Or knowing about God. But personally knowing God. Hallelujah. So there's a difference between knowing about God. Theology. And knowing God. Having a personal relationship with God. Hallelujah somebody. The Bible declares you shall know the truth, and the truth shall, shall set you free. Who is the truth? The truth is a person. Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Lord, I give you things and praise. Once you know the truth, who is a person? It's not just a word. He's a person. Christ, who said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Then he began to minister miracles because it is Christ who does the miracles in and through us. Praise the Son of the living God. Somebody. And therefore, people are tired of religion. We must present to them the true living God, and that is Christ, our Lord and our Savior, who lives today, once dead, now lives forevermore. Praise God. Amen. Fact. In John eleven twenty five, 25, the Bible declares that Christ himself saying, I am the resurrection and the life. Praise God. Elsewhere in John six thirty five, saying, I am the bread of life. Whoever receives me, hallelujah, somebody, shall not hunger whoever believes in me shall never thirst praise god so it starts with having faith in christ and you're going to see miracles signs and wonders the greatest miracle starts from you being saved born again praise god believing in christ and confessing him with your mouth that he was raised from the dead that's another miracle right there the greatest miracle praise god started with christ's death and resurrection, praise God. Bath, death, and resurrection, praise God. In the mighty name of Jesus. So if you believe that he's the resurrection and the life, guess what? The power of the resurrection is going to come upon you. Praise the son of a living God. Amen. That's how we minister miracles. Raise the dead. Praise the son of a living God. Amen. So there are things in people's lives that can only be met with a miracle. If you go to Mark 10, 27, praise God. Again, it says, but Jesus looked at them and said, with man it is impossible, but not with God. For with God all things are possible. Praise God. With God all things are possible. Now thank God for medicine, science, technology. There's a place for medicine, science, and technology. There's a place for financial, you know, I mean, in, in Wall Street, I started financial management yes there are many people out there who know a lot about finances but so many have failed in totally praise God delivering the people praise God so in other words medicine science technology financial knowledge anything on earth that you've studied can only do so much praise God praise the son of living God somebody and therefore, we must understand that where science stops, where medicine stops, where technology stops, where our knowledge or wisdom stops, God is above that. Praise God. He's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above and beyond all that we can ever expect or imagine. According to the power that works in us. Praise God. Amen. I think about it this way. And I come from a family of, of doctors and, you know, some of my family members are interested in medicine. I always tell my son that, that you're interested in medicine. Yes, that is a good thing. Praise God. Think about it this way. And we need great men and women of God in those fields. Praise God. That are God-fearing. I always think about it this way. There are many pathologists out there who will go and yes, they will make a post-mortem of someone who uh, the cause of death. How about a pathologist who can raise the dead? Praise God. There are many opticians out there. Yes, who prescribe glasses. How about an optician who will pray and you have a new eye? Praise God. 
or an ear, nose and throat surgeon that can decree and declare the word of God doesn't have to prescribe ear implants and all kinds of implants but that you may have new eardrums that is the kind of God that we serve he's above all medicine science technology in the area of finances how about believing God for a supernatural financial miracle praise God and God did it before with the children of Israel throughout the Bible they are financial miracles yes God can provide fed the children of Israel for 40 years or they didn't have to buy a sh new shirts or sew new shirts the clothes grew on their bodies they were fed with food from heaven hallelujah praise now some of some of some people say oh that is utopia but it happened right here on earth praise God and it can still happen praise God I'm saying we shouldn't walk we shouldn't uh, uh, go into those fields we should go into those fields but understand that God is above our knowledge praise the son of the living God somebody and in these days sadly there are many who are being uh, uh, deceived by the spirit of mammon again going back to the con context of mark 10 27 and matthew 19 26 that christ said these words to a man who was a rich man but was not ready to part with his riches to share with the poor and everybody's saying, even the disciples that were with Christ, who's going to make it to heaven? That's why Christ said, with God, all things are what? With man, it is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. That God can change the hearts of men. Praise God. Anyone's heart. Praise God. And use you mightily. Praise God. You don't have to give in to the spirit of mammon. Praise God. Just submit to God Almighty. Praise God. And you see your miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. Miracles are the evidence of God's power and love. Praise God. They are a sign of God's love and compassion for His people. There's no such a thing as showing God's love without His power. Praise God. And as you must demonstrate the power of God. A lot of secret friendly churches out there where they, they, they all say, Oh, we love you with the love of Christ. They're hugging the people who are uh, in, in wheelchairs, they're hugging all the people who are. It's good to love, but genuine love from God, praise God, must lead to the demonstration of the power of God, praise God. Genuine and sound doctrine, the gospel, the true gospel of the kingdom, must have a demonstration of the power of God. In other words, how about more than just loving that person and hugging them? You demonstrate the power of God that they may walk out of that wheelchair. Praise God. That amputee may have a new leg. It happened in Azusa revival. Yes, it can still happen even now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to ask someone from this house to come and read from uh, 1 Corinthians 2 verse 3 to 5. Michael, can you read from 1 Corinthians 2 verse 3 to 5, please? Lord, I give you thanks and praise. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 3 to 5. Praise God. And in Matthew 10, 7 to 8, why are miracles the evidence of God's power and love? Because, first of all, it is a commission, a commandment by God. We are to go and preach that the kingdom of God is at hand to heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out demons. Oh, yeah, the dead can still be raised even today. Praise God. They can still be raised even today. Praise God. Many people don't, don't, don't think that, oh, such a miracle can happen. It's still happening even today. There are many churches that are not seeker friendly, that are moving in the power of God. And we've seen those kinds of miracles. The dead being raised from the dead. Praise God. I'm not talking about praying for dead people and saints, wherever they are. I'm talking about calling the spirits of those dead people back into their bodies and they come back to life in this life that we're living in. Praise God. In the mighty name of Jesus. That's a commandment from God. In fact, it says, freely you have received, freely you are to give. You and I. Praise God. We must start believing in the supernatural power of God. Even raising the dead. In the name of Jesus Christ. First Corinthians 2 verse 3 to 5. I came to you in weakness with great fear and trembling. My message and my preaching were not with wise and persuasive words, but with a demonstration of the Spirit's power. Hallelujah. Go ahead. So that your faith might not rest on the wisdom, but on God's power. On God's power. Right there. 
Listen to the word Paul here, praise God, a man who was religious previously, now transformed by the power of the Holy Spirit, speaking, praise God, even today, this word is speaking to us, praise God. Hallelujah, somebody. I was with you in weakness. As a man, he was in weakness, in fear and in much trembling. In other words, we in and of ourselves can do nothing without the power of God. It says, and my speech and my preaching were not with persuasive words of human wisdom. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. But in the demonstration of the Spirit, right there, in the demonstration of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit is who demonstrates the power of God in and through us, praise God. But in the demonstration of the Spirit and of power, that your faith, my faith, should not be in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God Almighty. Hallelujah. In the power of God. Now for miracles are the evidence of God's power and love. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Miracles are proof that Jesus was raised from the dead and lives forever. Hallelujah, somebody. Praise God. Miracles done in the name of Jesus Christ are the supernatural evidence of his resurrection. That proves that he is the resurrection and the life. Praise God. That is the bread of life who promised that whoever receives me shall never hunger. Whoever believes in me shall never thirst. Praise God. They are proof that he exists in the now, not in the historical. There are many historical gospels out there. The gospel uh, that the things of Christ as something that is, is, is a prophet that, have, that, that was there at one time. And it's many religions, in fact. Buddhists, Hinduists, they believe in Christ as one prophet who was there at one time. Even Islam. Well, Jesus is God. He is the son of God and he lives, praise God. If we believe in the miracles, if we believe in God, praise God, miracles are going to happen, praise God. Yes, we ought to be believe in miracles, praise God, praise God, signs and wonders because Christ lives, praise God. In fact, in John 14, 12 to 14, this is what Christ even now is saying that the works that I do, he said it then, even now it is very much alive. The works that I do. You'll be able to do even more. Now, he was talking to his disciples. And today, all who believe in Christ are his disciples. So, he's speaking to you and I. Even today. Praise God. Because the words of Christ are spirit and life. Praise God. The spirit gives life. The flesh profits nothing. But my words are spirit and they are life. Even now, this word is speaking. So, Christ saying in John 14, 20, 14. That the works that I do, you'll be able to do even more. In my name. Not in anybody's name. But in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. But you know why? That the Father, he adds on and says, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Not for anyone's glory, but the Heavenly Father to be glorified in the Son. In other words, the Heavenly Father is glorified in Christ Jesus if we stand firm on the word of the Lord and go ahead and do what the Lord has called us to do by faith. Praise the Son of the living God, somebody. Who can do miracles? Anybody can do miracles. Praise God. Anyone who believes in Christ. Praise the Son of the living God. Somebody. The same miracles that Christ did and God used Christ miraculously here on earth. Was anointed by the Holy Spirit. You have to be anointed by the Holy Spirit. How Jesus of Nazareth was, was anointed by the Holy Spirit. By God with the Holy Spirit. Jesus of Nazareth. At the time he was here on earth. Was anointed by God. With the Holy Spirit went about doing good, healing the sick, the lepers, praise God, doing miracles, unusual miracles. And so if Christ says that the works that I do, you'll be able to even you'll be able to do even more. That includes you and I, praise God, if we have faith. In Acts 19:11, that's what happened exactly with Paul, formerly Saul. It says, Now God works unusual miracles by the hands of Paul. Hallelujah, somebody. Praise God. Unusual miracles. All that is in the Bible. Praise God. But it does not stay in the Bible. Even we who are here, and though we do not live in the biblical times, that power is available for all who believe. Praise God. They are both miracles, are both God and man working together. Praise God. God does not, that, that's the miracle. Praise God. Please in the hands of, hands of a man. Praise God. Does not work by himself even though he can walk by himself praise god but he needs a vessel a willing vessel you and i praise god the hands of man that are willing praise god a heart of man that is willing praise god to be used by god 
Praise God. Those that are willing to say, here I am, send me. Praise God. Do we have any people who are ready to say, here I am, send me, God? That's what God is looking for. Praise God. A willing vessel. Praise God. To glorify God. So miracles are both God and man working together. God does the miracle using the hands of a man or woman. Praise God. If you are a believer of Jesus Christ, you qualify to be a miracle worker. It's not just the pastors, your pastor, your apostle, your teacher. Anybody who has faith, who walks by faith, you can lay hands on the sick and they shall be healed. In fact, in Mark 16, 15, 20, the Bible declares that we let's go preaching the kingdom of God to every creature. That is the great commission. Go and preach the kingdom to all creatures. Whoever believes and is baptized shall be saved. Whoever does not believe shall be condemned. But that these signs shall follow those that believe. They shall cast out demons. They shall speak in new tongues. They shall take up serpents. If they drink anything deadly, it shall not harm them. Lay hands on the sick and they shall be healed. But I like Mark 16, 20. Because it says, after that, even after Christ had already ascended into heaven, praise God. The Bible declares that the Lord, as they went out obediently, the Lord working with them, confirming his word with miracles, signs and wonders following. Praise God. Oh, that's, that's key. To know that you are a temple of the Holy Spirit, that God is with you. Christ said the kingdom of God is within us. To have faith that God is with you. Not to think, oh, am I by myself as I'm doing this? God is with you, praise God, if you are a believer, praise God. So please understand that anybody can do a miracle. There are five steps that, are, many steps are there, but five specific steps to receive your miracle, praise God. Number one, miracles do not happen just because they start by faith, praise God. You're believing in Christ and walking in faith, even as a believer, praise God. A lot of believers out there don't believe, they have believe. We ought to believe wholly that God can heal us, can provide for us, can protect us, can deliver us from anything. Praise God. In the name of Jesus Christ. So in John 9, 7, it says, And he said to him, Go wash in the pool of Siloam. This was a man who was, uh, I believe, blind. Praise God. And his eyes were open. Praise God. So Christ said, Go wash in the pool of Siloam. So he went and washed and came back seeing. Praise God. Not only seeing in the physical, but much later, if you read John 9, the whole of John 9, it was really not talking about just seeing in the natural, but also in the realm of the spirit. <coughs> because after that miracle, this man, uh, Christ asked, asked this man, oh, do, 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 you, do you know uh, God? Do you know God? And this man did not know God. Did not know Christ. Did not know how he was healed. And Christ revealing himself to that man, praise God, opening his picture eyes. The man desired to know who God was. And Christ revealed himself to the man, praise God. And that's what happens when we become born again, praise God. When our eyes, our spiritual eyes are open, the veil is removed, praise God. The Bible declares, now when one turns to the Lord, the veil is removed. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And as we behold the glory of the Lord, once the veils are removed in our spiritual hearts, spiritual eyes, our, our spiritual eyes having been opened, praise God. And we need our spiritual eyes to be open today to start believing for the impossible. That God is the God of the impossible. Can do anything if we believe, praise God. So it starts by believing. This man went by faith, even in the nurture, when God spoke, that speaks to the condition of his heart. When Christ said, go wash in the pool of Siloam, he went and washed and he came back seeing. Praise God. And that's what is remarkable. That our faith starts from the heart. Praise God. Faith. Praise God. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. We must believe that God is and he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Praise God. So Jesus often asks people to do something to receive their, their miracle. You gotta be ready to do something that 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 uh, that you know expresses your faith in God. Praise God. I prayed for you. Your eyes are healed. Okay, believe. Do something. Praise God. 
They don't, you haven't done before. They prayed for your leg. Maybe your leg was uh, uh, was uh, 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 um, um, hurting. Just gonna give you an example. Praise God. You couldn't walk. Maybe it was amputated. You can believe for God to grow a leg. Praise God. Nothing is impossible with God. Hallelujah, somebody. Absolutely nothing is impossible with God. Praise God. So the same thing happens today. God is ready to do a miracle, but we must first believe in him. Praise God. If you have doubt, oh, well, am I going to be healed? I don't think. Well, maybe. It's not going to happen. Miracles happen in the now. The Bible declares now faith is a sub now faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things unseen. Hallelujah, somebody. In Hebrews 11, 1. The faith's time zone is the now. It is not tomorrow. We don't believe for a miracle tomorrow. We believe for a miracle now. And it happens now. Praise God. If you're believing for tomorrow, yes, you're postponing your miracle. Praise God. If you believe for the now, it is going to happen. Miracles just like faith take place in the now. Praise God. Because faith has to be now. It's not tomorrow. You cannot postpone faith. It's not in the past. It is required to see a miracle. Faith is required to see a miracle. Miracles must be received by faith. Praise God. To receive means to take, believe for it now, and take it by force. Oh yes, sometimes you have to just be violent. You have to, to have a holy violence for your miracle. Praise God. Radical faith. I call it radical faith. Praise God. You're believing for the impossible. A lot of people don't no longer believe for raising the dead. I'm believing for raising the dead. Don't believe for, for amputees getting new legs, new limbs. Praise God. People no longer believe for creative miracles. Again, thank God for medicine. You can get a heart these days, a, a plastic heart, and it can keep you alive for some time. But how about believing for a new heart from heaven? A real heart, praise God. There can be lung transplants and all kinds of things. How about believing for a new lung from heaven? How about believing for God to pay off your mortgage? Yes, I'm believing for that in my house here. Supernaturally. Praise God. Nothing is impossible with God. Praise the Son of the living God somebody. From the times of John the Baptist. The kingdom of God has been subjected to violence and the violent take it by force. Praise God. So sometimes you just have to have radical faith. Because this is the spiritual war. The enemy is fighting that we may not have these things. That we may not have our healing, our provision, protection from God. So you must have supernatural, spiritual, holy violence fighting against the enemy. Praise God. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual forces of darkness, principles and powers. This is a spiritual war. Sometimes you have to fast. You have to pray. You have to press in. Stand on the word of the Lord. Decree and declare it. Do you see your miracle? Praise God. They require immediate response. A physical responsive action of faith is required to see the miracle. After being prayed for, do what you could not do before. Praise God. They must be worked. Oh, yes. A lot of people say, oh, they isn't that re religious? You're trying to... It's, it, you must work the miracle. Praise God. In 1 Corinthians 12, 10, it says, To another, the work is God working in and through you. Praise God. But you are a participant. Remember, you are a participant in that miracle. Praise God. So to another, in 1 Corinthians 12, 10, it says, to another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. Praise God. To another, discerning of spirits. To another, different kinds of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. But notice the first, to another, the working of miracles. So in other words, miracles can be worked. They are worked. Praise God. How are they worked? You walk by faith. You decree and declare. You pray over the sick. I go to hospitals in, in this region. You know, and sometimes you pray and you don't see nothing. Praise God. <laughs> Praise the Son of the living God. But you don't give up. You press in. Praise God. You believe. It is not you who is doing the miracle. You believe in God to do the miracle. Praise God. But if you go in doubting, and sometimes some of the miracles don't happen because the person who is receiving maybe does, uh, is not, is, does not believe. Praise God. But God can heal them anyhow. Because God is a God of the impossible. Praise God. With all things God, with, 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 with God, all things are possible. Praise God. With God, all things are possible. Praise God. So if nothing happens after praying, the first time, continue praying, pressing three, four times. Praise God. Do not ever give up on working the miracle. Praise God. We must stand firm on the word of the Lord. Decree and declare it. Praise God. And we'll see the God of the impossible 
in our lives, in our finances, in our in our in our bodies, healing our bodies. Praise God. That's the reason why Christ would die on the cross. He was wounded for our transgressions and bruised for our iniquities. And the chastisement of broad peace was upon him. By his stripes, today we are healed if we believe. And that word healing is not just the physical, but in the spirit and in the soul. Praise God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, I had asthma. I can testify. And the enemy beat me up so many times. And sometimes, oh, I would have doubt. And then asthma would be like coming back. But when I started believing, I saw my healing. When I decreed and declared the word of God, I saw my deliverance. Now I don't have asthma anymore. Yes, I don't. We serve a mighty God. Praise God. And so anybody who has any kind of sickness and disease, and I'm going to start with the, um, the salvation, uh, salvation uh, prayer for anyone who has not accepted Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. Praise God. The Bible declares that we've all sinned and we've fallen short of the glory of God. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. No one is perfect by themselves. And that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ. Praise God. The gift of God is eternal life through Christ. Praise God. Only through Christ. Not through religion or denomination. Not through any of the religions out there. It's not money. You cannot buy salvation. It is only through Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior, praise God, who said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me, praise God. And, so, and today, and today Christ is speaking to somebody, praise God. That if you believe, in Romans 10, 9 to 10, it says, that if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, that God, our Heavenly Father, raised Christ from the dead. And that Jesus is Lord. He died on the cross for your sins, my sins. Was buried, was raised from the dead. Having repented. It starts with repentance. Christ came to call sinners to repentance. And God does not desire that anybody perishes. But that we all come to full repentance. Praise God. What is repentance? Repentance is completely turning away from sin. Praise God. Turning away from sin. And it is the goodness of the Lord that leads men unto repentance. Having seen the goodness of the Lord and what Christ did on the cross for us, the Bible declares that God has so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son that whoever believes in him may not perish but have everlasting life. That is the purpose, that we may not perish but have everlasting life. Praise God. He became a curse. Christ became a curse for you and I. For curse is the one who is hung on the tree as it is written. On the cross, he became a curse. Meaning, he took on all our sin. Our iniquity, pay the price with his precious blood as of a lamb without spot or blemish. That we may receive the promise of the Holy Spirit by faith and enjoy all the blessings that God promised our father Abraham. That through your seed, I'll bless all nations. That seed is Christ our Lord and our Savior. Praise God. And so today, if you have been touched by this teaching, and I pray that the Holy Spirit has spoken to you today. And are ready to receive Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Believing in your heart that he is the son of God and are ready to repent of your sins and receive him as your Lord and Savior. That is the son of God was raised from the dead by our heavenly father. Please repeat after me. Say, Heavenly Father, I recognize that I am a sinner and that my sin separates me from you. And I repent of all my sins and I confess Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. I believe with all of my heart that God the Father thank you, Lord, raised Jesus from the dead. Say now, you say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart, come into my life. Today I break every covenant with the devil, with the flesh, with the world. And with my past. Today I make a new covenant with you, Jesus. That covenant that was sealed with your precious blood, as of a lamb without spot or blemish. Jesus, thank you. And I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. And I receive the free gift of the Holy Spirit. 
to walk upon the will of God from this day forward. The day I die, if I were to die, when I open my eyes, I will be in your arms. In the name of Jesus, amen. Friends, if you say that prayer, the Bible declares in John 1, 12, whoever accepted him, whoever accepted Christ, God, our Heavenly Father, get the right, hallelujah, to become children of God in the kingdom of God. How beautiful is that? Doesn't matter what you did in the past, or those sins are forgiven. The Bible declares they're forgiven, they're remembered no more. Just as far as the east is from the west, are our sins from us, praise God. Elsewhere says, when we repent and are converted, our sins are blotted out. And guess what? Times of refreshing come from the presence of God. The Holy Spirit comes and takes over. Hallelujah, somebody. And then from there on, we walk according to the will of God. Praise God. The Holy Spirit is going to teach you the word of God. If you're a new believer, you don't have a Bible, get a Bible. Praise God. Join a Holy Spirit-filled church that believes in miracles, signs and wonders, healing, not a seeker-friendly church. The Holy Spirit is going to teach you how to pray, how to worship. We'll teach you the word of God. The Bible declares that the Holy Spirit is who teaches us the word of God. Praise God. The revelation of Christ. Praise God. Reveals Christ. Reveals the heavenly Father. The love of the heavenly Father. Hallelujah. Somebody. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Now I'm going to minister to whoever is, has any needs, any sickness or disease. Uh, Father, I thank you for your loving kindness and for your tender mercies which endure forever. Today I begin to decree and declare the finished work of Christ on the cross. Whoever has any sickness or disease to be healed even in this house of peace. Uh, online, there's no distance in the spirit on Facebook. Even those who are going to listen to this uh, recording after this message. Lord my God, I thank you. Yes, after this live this live broadcast, even those that are going to tune in, I decree and declare healing over each and every one, deliverance, protection. The power of the resurrection in the mighty name of Jesus Christ to even walk in miracles, signs and wonders. Today I activate each and every one in the supernatural power of God to do miracles. Even as the word of God declares we are to go and preach that the kingdom of God is at hand to heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out demons. Freely we have received, freely we are to give. I declare it over each and every one in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I give you thanks and praise. Yes, those miracles that you promised in John 14, 12 to 14, I decree and declare it over each and every one. I activate everyone, King of glory. Yes, even those who have not yet been speaking in tongues to so speak in tongues. In the name of Jesus, supernatural tongues from heaven, tongues from heaven. Hallelujah. Tongues of angels, tongues of angels. My Lord, I thank you. Lord, I give you thanks and praise. Those who are deaf to hear, my Lord, I give you thanks and praise. Oh, there's someone who was, who was, um, I just felt it right now. Someone who has a, a, a left, it's a left ear. I believe it is, it is a deafness in the left ear. I declare healing over you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, I declare it right now in the name of Jesus. To whoever has anything on their left ear. Left ear. Lord, I thank you. Yes, I activate you in the supernatural to walk in miracles, signs and wonders, creative miracles in this house of peace and online. There is no distance in the spirit. I declare it in the name of Jesus, the name that is above all names. Yes, Lamb of God, have your way, Lord my God. Those who are blind eyes, I decree and declare healing over you. Yes, do something you did not do before. You can take off your glasses and examine yourself. See if you can see better than you were seeing. Even with your glasses. Whatever it is, was that, that was the condition of your eyes. I decree and declare new eyeballs. Yes, from heaven. New eyeballs from heaven. I declare it in the name of Jesus Christ. Even those who are online, those who are going to listen to this recording, I declare it But the power of the resurrection is here. The power of healing, deliverance is here right now. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord God Almighty. Lord, I give you things and praise. Anyone who has metal plates, anybody who has any kind of uh, 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 metallic, uh, uh, metallic uh, implant in their bodies, 
in, repla in, re in replacement of true bonds, I decree and declare that bonds grow, new bonds from heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare it. Those who have any heart disease, any heart disease, maybe a hole in the heart, I declare healing over your heart, a new heart from heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your miracle right now. I declare it in the name of Jesus. Lord, I give you things and praise. Before I came on, there was someone, I, I think, who had a back, uh, lower back bone, lower back bone, lower back bone. Some kind of ailment on the lower back bone. I declare healing over that area in the name of Jesus Christ. And some of you may be, even be going through a COVID situation. Whatever it is that you have, I rebuke the spirit of COVID. I bind it. I bind every spirit of infirmity, sickness, and disease. And I declare healing over you in the name that is above all names, the name of Jesus. Some of you may be struggling with, with uh, drug issues, even drunkenness. I was a, a drunkard, yes. God delivered me from drunkenness. I decree and declare that whoever is struggling with drunkenness, you be healed in the name of Jesus. Those who have asthma, be healed. I decree and declare new lungs in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. Anybody who has any gastrointestinal disease, maybe ulcers, whatever it is, even prostate cancer, colon cancer, I declare healing over you in the name of Jesus. I declare it. Lord, I give you thanks and praise. Yes, I feel the power, the anointing of the Holy Spirit right now. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I give you thanks and praise. Oh, somebody ought to give him thanks right there where you were. Yes, people who have any kind of brain tumors, brain disease or ADHD, bipolar disease, mental health disturbances, depression, maybe you're stressed, you're hearing voices, oh, that's the enemy, At the barrage of voices, that's from the enemy. I declare that you have a mind of Christ in the name of Jesus. Pure mind of Christ. Whatever has been disturbing you, whatever has been stressing you or depressing you, I bind the spirit of depression right now in the name of Jesus Christ. What they call bipolar disease, what they call uh, a multiple personality disorders, ADHD, whatever it is they call it, I bind it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and declare you set free in the name that is above all names. Oh, the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. The name of Jesus is above cancer. Those who have cancer, be healed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Some of you are in hospitals. You listen to this in a hospital. Wherever you are in other nations, I declare healing. Wherever it's here, healing on each and every one. Divine restoration, the power of the resurrection. Yes, let it come upon each and every one of us right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you. Oh, Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Lord, I give you thanks and praise. Lord, even as you heal me from drunkenness, from all kinds of things, King of glory, oh, there are those who are going through all kinds of struggles with all kinds of sin and unrighteousness I decree and declare that you are here whether it be uh, idolatry, sexual immorality you are struggling with anything some people are struggling with all kinds of things like like, like uh, uh, um, yes, be healed in the name of Jesus Christ be healed, be delivered supernaturally and those things are stopping you from getting your miracle those are the, the, some of the, 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 um, the blockages from you getting the miracle. You're struggling with pornography, you're struggling with sexual immorality, maybe fornication or adultery, all those things. They stop you, they block your miracle. If you walk in sin and unrighteousness, that stops you from receiving a miracle. God is righteous. God, our God is righteous. The Bible declares that righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. Mercy and truth go before his face. So I'm telling you the truth. Praise God. If you're living in sin, that blocks your miracle. So we rebuke any kind of iniquity, sin, or unrighteousness. If you haven't repented, you haven't repented, repent. Praise God. Repent. Now repent therefore and be converted. That your sins may be blotted out. That times of refreshing may come from the presence of God. There are people who are struggling with religion. 
religious mindsets. I decree and declare that anybody that is struggling with a religious mindset, having a form of godliness but denying the power of God, you are set free right now in the name of Jesus Christ that you may walk in the supernatural power of God. I declare it right now in the name that is above all names, the name of Jesus. Lord, I give you things and praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Rabbi Sanda, those who are missing organs, I declare creative, a creative miracle that you may receive your organ. Yes, there are people who they take out one ovary, they take out the uterus. I declare a supernatural impartation of new organs by angels from heaven. Because in heaven there are many body organs from God Almighty, the God of the impossible. With God all things are possible. I declare it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody who has any issues of blood, women have issues of blood, I declare healing over you in the name of Jesus Christ. Even here, healing, deliverance, divine restoration. I declare it in the name that is above our names, the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you abundantly. Lord, I give you thanks and praise. Lord, I give you thanks and praise. Yes, the mute to speak. There are those who are muted. You cannot speak. You cannot speak. Uh, decree and declare that your tongue is set free in the name of Jesus Christ for you to speak. Even speak in tongues. Hura Baba, supernatural power of God to touch you right now in the name of Jesus. That's the enemy that keeps people mute. And many times, let me tell you something. Many times the enemy puts those things on people because he's trying to stop them from walk. Many times, all the time actually from being what God has purposed for them to be. Some people who are muted, it's be, the, 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 the enemy is attacking their tongues so that they do not preach the gospel. Maybe you're an intercessor. Maybe you're an apostle, teacher, prophet of God. Maybe you've been called in any ministry. Whatever the enemy has done to your tongue to stop you from speaking what God, what heaven is speaking, I bind that spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that we all hear in the spirit, hear what God is saying. The Bible declares, ear has not heard, eye has not seen, ear has not heard, nor has it entered the heart of man what God is about to do for those that love him. I declare that your spiritual, spiritual eyes are open, your spiritual ears are open to hear what God is saying and to see what God is doing. He's, he's, he's doing to see what God is doing. Praise God. Because the Bible declares that, 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 that in one of the prayers, praise God, by, by Paul, that we may have the revelation, and that's the will of God, that we may have the revelation, the wisdom, the spirit of wisdom, and the revelation of the knowledge of God, that the eyes of our understanding may be open. I'm not talking about natural eyes, I'm talking about the eyes of our understanding, that we may have revelation in the inner man. Praise God. I declare it over you in the name of Jesus Christ right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. And Christ said, My sheep hear my voice, I know them and they follow me. So we need spiritual ears to hear what God is saying. Praise God. To see what God wants us to see. Praise God. I declare it over you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you. It's time for us to give our tithes and offerings. Praise God. And if you have your tithes and offerings, tithes go to your local church. If this is your local church, God bless you. Uh, if you ready to give your tithes and offerings. Praise God. Now you can give uh, an offering of any amount as the Holy Spirit leads. Praise God. To any ministry. Meaning that even though you do not belong to this church, you can give an offering to this church. Praise God. In this church, uh, the gospel is preached. Praise God. There are miracle signs and wonders everywhere in all the nations. Praise God. We've been called to take the supernatural power of God to all the nations. Praise God. To evangelize the nations. Praise God. So whatever seed that you're planting in this ministry, it goes to, it, 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 that, that seed you're sowing is in fertile ground. Praise God. To preach the gospel that souls may be saved. Praise God. The Bible declares that the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life. He who wins souls is wise. Praise God. And so you're participating in the winning of souls. Not only that, food to the poor. Praise God. So many things are done in this ministry. Praise God. May God bless you abundantly as you give. And now you can give by text. Uh, if you want to give by text, you can text uh, the word KJM Dallas, praise God, KJM Dallas, 
can text to the number 77977, praise God. And then the system will give you instructions on how to give, praise God. And the Holy Spirit will let you know uh, what amount to give, praise God. So give cheerfully, praise God. And the Lord will bless you, praise God. If you want to give by check or money order, praise God, you can send your check or money order in the names, make the check in the names of King Jesus Dallas. And send it to the address I'm going to give you at King Jesus Dallas. Um, the address is 4240 International Parkway, praise God. And it is in the city called Carrollton, C-A-R-R-O-L-L-T-O-N, in Texas. So the zip code is 75007, praise God. And you'll be blessed, praise God. I'll pray for... Uh, we, um, for your tithes and offerings, praise God. We sang in this word in Matthew 24, 14. The Bible declares, And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations. And then the end will come, praise God. So you see, the seed that you're planting is to preach the gospel to all the nations. Now, not any gospel, but the gospel of the kingdom of God. Yes, that comes with miracles, signs and wonders. That comes with a demonstration of the power of God. Hallelujah, somebody. So your tithe, your, your, whatever seed you've sown as an offering is going to change lives as we share the message of salvation. Praise God. Forgiveness, peace. We bring peace. In Christ there is peace. In the presence of the Lord is the fullness of joy. There is love. Praise God. Part of sharing the love of God is giving to the poor. Praise God. Sharing the message of Christ. Someone may be rich. They have money, but they need peace. They don't have peace. Praise God. Sharing these kinds of messages brings peace. Praise God. So may God bless you abundantly as you give. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. I give you thanks and praise, Abba. Lord, I give you thanks and praise. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you. I thank you, King of Glory. I thank you, Lord of Lords. I thank you. I thank you for your loving kindness, for your tender mercies, which endure forever. And if you're doing this first time, it may ask you a couple, uh, I mean, send you cords and things for you to enter. Uh, but that would only be uh, the first time, praise God. The next time, yeah, it, will, it won't uh, ask you for all that information, praise God. Lord, I thank you. I pray that you bless everyone that is given in. Lord, thank you. I pray that you bless each and everyone abundantly. Lord, my God, I thank you. Yes, standing from the word. Yes, Lord, Matthew 24, 14, even Malachi. My Lord, my God, three. Verse 10, King of Glory. Blessings, supernatural blessings. Those blessings that you promise, even in Ephesians 1, 3, King of Glory. Yes, the blessing from our Heavenly Father through Christ Jesus. Those spiritual blessings, Lord, my God. Healing, miracles, signs, ones, blessings are more than money. It's supernatural blessings. My Lord, my God, the peace of God that passes all understanding to God our hearts and minds always. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. And everybody say, May the God of peace himself sanctify you and I holy. Christ is coming back soon, friends, for a holy and unblemished church. So may the God of peace himself sanctify you and I holy in spirit, in soul, and in your body. Yes, right there, because that's the will of God. That we may be sanctified in spirit, soul, and body. That at the return of Christ, our Lord and our Savior, and He's coming back soon, we may be found blameless. We may be found blameless. A church without spot or wrinkle. A glorious church. A church that is holy. A bride that is wise. Sheep not among the goats. Praise God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Among the wheat, not the tares. God bless you until next week. God bless you.